Prior to performing any service on the unit, ensure that lockout tagout procedures are followed. Water flow has been shut off and valves closed to prevent water flow. Make sure that the unit has been properly depressurized by opening the drain valve. Be sure to use non-powdered latex gloves before performing preventative maintenance. Once the safety procedures and mechanisms have been followed, start by using a Phillips screwdriver to remove number 10 panhead screws that secure the outer metal end cap. Once screws are removed, pull back on the blue end cap to remove and expose the unit's electrical connections. Unscrew the black plastic disconnect to remove unit sensor cable. Using a small handheld screwdriver, take out the screw securing surface mount temperature switch located on unit's end plate. The same process can be followed to also remove the ground wire. To free the lamp sockets, turn the gray plastic compression nut caps counterclockwise until freed from the metal compression nut. With the end cap removed, pull the lamp socket part out of the chamber until the lamp socket connection is fully exposed. The lamp socket can then be gently pulled apart from angled UV lamp pins. With all electrical connections freed from end of UV treatment chamber, the end cap and electrical harness can be removed and placed away from the end of treatment chamber. The UV lamps can be removed out of the treatment chamber by sliding the lamps out of the quartz sleeve using the compression nut tool provided with the OptiVen and an on-site 3 8 inch ratchet Take out sleeve bolts completely to expose quartz sleeve for removal. Repeat process as needed. The quartz sleeve may be stuck due to its time in a fixed position. Use the quartz sleeve removal tool to free the sleeve from the unit. As each quartz sleeve is removed, tilt the open end downward to the ground to allow the internal tension spring to be removed and replaced during service. Repeat process as needed. With the quartz sleeve removed, use a flashlight to visually inspect the internal Teflon bushings on the baffle assembly. Should one or more not be visible, the end plate will need to be removed to add missing sleeve bushings. When all sleeve bushings are accounted for, you can resume with the quartz sleeve and UV lamp replacement. Prior to installing new quartz sleeves, it is recommended to inspect the replacement of any possible cracks that may have occurred during shipment. With a quartz sleeve free of cracks, proceed with installation. Insert the internal tension spring through the open end of quartz and ensure spring slides to the domed end of the quartz sleeve. Take time to also add primary sealing O-ring at approximately 1.5 inches from the open end of the quartz sleeve. Slide quartz sleeve into the opening on end plate. Repeat process as needed. To assist seating the O-ring properly to the outer surface of quartz sleeve, use a spray bottle to add site process water or distilled water to allow O-ring to slide and avoid binding or becoming pinched. Reassembly of the unit can now begin. Begin with replacing the sleeve bolt washer by prying out the old washer and carefully seating a new washer with your fingers. Hand tightening each sleeve bolt into place, as the sleeve bolt is tightened, it will properly seat the sleeve O-ring as well as push the sleeve into place. Set an on-site 3 8 inch ratchet to 100 pounds per inch, and using the provided compression nut tool, tighten each sleeve bolt. Insert the new lamps into the sleeves and leave the lamp pins and ceramic exposed outside of the sleeve bolts. Bring the end cap back to the end of the chamber. Each lamp cable will be labeled with a number that matches a lamp number on the end plate. Carefully reconnect the appropriate lamp cables to each lamp and seat the lamp cable flush with the end of the sleeve bolt, pushing the lamp into the chamber. Secure the lamp's cables into place using the gray plastic compression nut caps. Tighten by hand only. Resecure the ground wire to the end plate using its screw and lock washer. Repeat this for the temperature switch located at the top of the end plate. 
The end cap can now be mounted to the chamber. There are three securing holes on the end cap, left, top, and right, that will match up to the chamber flange. Resecure using the appropriate screws, tighten by hand only. Reattach the sensor cable using its quick disconnects. Lastly, the drain and pressure relief valves can be closed. The unit can now be restarted.